How many times have you found yourself in a situation where you felt less than safe? There are three simple techniques we can all use to prevent becoming a victim. And here to get us the goods is Chris Sutton from Cobra Defense. Welcome to daytime, Chris. Thank you. All right, let's talk about controlling your time and your place. Explain that for us. This is technique number one. These are three passive techniques we're going to go over. Um, the most important thing to remember is when you're dealing with a bad guy, he always selects the time, the place, and the method of attack. You don't get that luxury ever. Uh, anytime you're going to be victimized, he picks all these, all three, okay? So what, what can we do to offset this? We're going to control our time and place. I'm going to give you a couple examples. you got to remember, people only pick you because of the opportunity that they get. Mm -hmm. Just like a lion hunting, he's not going to go after the strongest and the fastest gazelle. It's the one that's not paying attention. It's the weak one that falls behind. So um, if we're in a supermarket and say it's four in the afternoon and we're with our family, uh, we're feeling pretty good. Everything's going okay. Uh, we walk out to the parking lot. Uh, it's, you know, there's people around, sun's out, well lit. Time and place is pretty good, right? Right. Same supermarket, 11 at night, not with my family. I parked out in the corner. Parking lot's not well lit. Uh, my time and place has totally changed. Even though I'm in the same place, I'm in a poor time and place. Now I'm, a, now I'm an opportunity and now I can become a victim, okay? I just made it a lot easier for somebody else to victimize me. Same thing, I'm a real estate agent. Mm -hmm. I'm showing this really nice house to somebody, all right? Actually, I'm showing it to a full family, a family of four. I feel pretty comfortable, you know, a husband, a wife, two children. I, I walk them in, show them the house. Um, good time and place, daytime. It can still be daytime. Now I'm a single female showing this house to a, a male. I don't feel comfortable. All right, my time and place has now changed. So with children and adults, take control of your time and place. Understand where you're at, when you're at, what time is it, and what's going on around you. What if you walk every day like I do and you tend to go at the same time? Is that a bad idea? Should you vary where you go and, and vary the times that you go? Absolutely. you, you got to understand, um, these, these bad guys, that's what they do for a living. Right. They want the easiest opportunity. Um, if they see females, soft targets, anyone in, in, a, in a normal pattern, normal routine, Hey, that child gets off the bus, they walk the same way every day, they're always alone. Target, mm -hmm. the opportunity. Okay, uh, awareness, alarm, action. Understand AAA. It's triple A, okay? This is our self-defense ladder. You're always in the first A, the awareness stage. Always be aware of where you're at, what you're doing. The same thing with the time and place. Um, once you get into the alarm phase, a lot of people don't realize they're in the alarm phase. You ever felt uncomfortable? Something's going on. I don't exactly know what it is. Maybe it's a family member that made me feel uncomfortable. He said something. Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, as soon as you go into that alarm phase, you're going to go into that action phase and either do something or remove yourself from the situation or you're, you're um, in that full-blown fight. That's the action phase. You can go from awareness all the way to the last day, which is action. Now I'm, I'm defending myself. You always want to stay in that bottom A and you always want to be on high alert. And that will keep you from that action phase. Pay attention to your it, instinct, right? Absolutely. Okay, and uh, finally, know your three threat levels, green, yellow, and red. Drill with your child or yourself. Have a personal threat level. At all times, you want to be on green. Green is where we're at right now. I feel pretty comfortable. Good. We're, you know, we, <laughs> uh, we're, doing, we're, you know, we're doing a talk show. I feel pretty comfortable. Nothing's really setting me off. If I move into that yellow phase, hey, I just got out of a, uh, a nightclub or I'm leaving Walmart late at night or some supermarket um, and I don't feel comfortable walking in my car alone. I'm at the yellow phase. I need to get back down to green because if I do not, now I'm in the red phase. There's trouble. Trouble is, is a red phase. That's high alert. Once again, active self-defense. We can control it by staying in that green phase constantly. Okay. Well, you spoke of self-defense and when we come back, Chris Sutton from Cobra Self-Defense is going to show Kayla and myself a couple of moves that we can all use, right? Absolutely. These will be active techniques. Active techniques. Active techniques. We'll be right back. Stay with us.